I've been using this Flow Home X3 EV charger for just about two months now and one megawatt hour and I came away very impressed. I reviewed the Flow Home X5 in 2023 and while I love the design and durable components, there were a few concerns and suggestions for improvements. The newest X3, X6, and X8 products address pretty much all of my complaints with Flow's previous generation products. The X3 and X6 Flow Home EV chargers go up to 50 amps now, up from 30 amps on the previous generation. While 30 amps is still plenty for overnight charging, 50 amps gives you the ability to quickly add some range in between your daytime errands if you need it. In addition, the new X8 goes all the way up to 80 amps, which some EV trucks can support at their full speeds. The X3 and X6 now also give the user a choice between a hardwired installation by a professional electrician or the option of a NEMA 1450 unit that plugs directly into an existing outlet. Charging from an outlet comes with a 40 amp limit, but that's still a great option to have for flexibility. And Flow's plug-in units are designed well because they actually have temperature sensors on the connectors to prevent overheating concerns. Flow knows the importance of high-quality cables and EV connectors. They're based out of ice-cold Quebec, and they're known for some of the most reliable commercial chargers. I'm happy to report that my X3 came with a high-quality 25-foot charging cord with a NAX connector. That's right, Flow's latest home chargers give you the option between the common J1772 or a NAX connector, also known as a Tesla connector. Regardless of which connector you need, both have been engineered for 10,000 use cycles. The NAX connector here feels every bit as nice as the one that comes with the Tesla wall connector. It even has the same button to open the charge port door, which is very convenient. I think many buyers will actually be cross-shopping between the popular Tesla wall connector and the latest home EV chargers from Flow. Now, Flow home EV chargers cost more, but there are several very good reasons to consider them. Regardless of your choice between the plastic enclosure of the X3 or the aluminum enclosure of the X6, both have the NEMA 4X protection rating from the elements, meaning it is waterproof and corrosion resistant while the Tesla wall connector offers a more basic NEMA 3R level of resistance. So if you're planning on installing your charger outdoors, Flow is a more suitable option. This higher level of durability also allows Flow to offer a five-year warranty compared to Tesla's four-year warranty. And second, I like how Flow offers both a hardwired installation option as well as a NEMA 1450 outlet charger. Tesla wall connector does not support NEMA 1450 plugs, it's hardwired only. Only their portable 32 amp unit offers a NEMA plug-in option. Third, the Flow app has matured over the years to be a very capable app that can handle both your home and away charging needs. Flow has a growing charging network and partnerships with other public charging networks that allow drivers to roam and activate public chargers in many locations. If you need an 80 amp capable charger, the Flow Home X8 has you covered just make sure you could support a dedicated 100 amp circuit. And finally, I like how my Flow Home X3 has a physical dial inside the unit to restrict it to lower amperage modes. Competitors like the wall connector do this through software, which can be less reliable. For example, if your home only has a 100 amp electrical service or lower, you may need to reduce the power output from the maximum settings, and your installer can make this adjustment for you. I've really enjoyed reviewing the Flow Home X3. I usually only keep chargers installed in my test bench for the duration of the review, but I'm planning on permanently hardwiring this one in a secondary location for additional charging capacity. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.